Hey everybody, Will Hamilton here, and we are back once again with Yano Zoo. Jan and I are actually gonna be working together for the next couple weeks. So in the previous video we released, we were doing some drills that worked on modern tennis footwork, and now we're Correct. gonna take it a step further with something you call personalization. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, personalization to me is really allowing yourself to play the game that you like, mm -hmm. the way that it feels right to you, okay? okay? And still allowing yourself to have a, a learning curve and you know a margin of improvement that you know, only you can take it to the next level, basically. And I think a lot of people tend to mimic, you know, the professional players out there, which is a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you don't necessarily have that type of flexibility or that type of time to practice, you know, countless hours to reach that level of perfection, basically. So it's important for the, the average player out there and the reg player out there to feel like their game is just what they need to have. Mm -hmm. If you're a singer, you are actually trained to, to sing with your own voice. Okay. And in tennis, it's the same way. You have to play with your own game within the qualities of your own body type. So I shouldn't be trying to sing like Justin Timberlake. I should be trying to sing like Will Hamilton. Absolutely. Or and I shouldn't be trying to play like Federer. There might be bits and pieces I can copy, but at course. a certain point, it becomes Will Hamilton. I need to structure my game around what I'm good at. Exactly, because at the end of the day, you need to feel confident about the qualities your game has, mm -hmm. okay, and, and learning how to express them, okay. To me, you are a two-handed backhand player, so for you to imitate, you know, Federer's one-handed backhand would be kind of a waste of time, okay. Um, We're trying to hit 130 mile an hour serve, not going to happen, I'm not 6'2". You're I'm not 6'2", not exactly, but you know, you can find ways that are actually very efficient for you to get the job done, all right, all right? if you're small and you want to you know, have a good serve, you probably need to work on angles, right. okay? So that your serve does not become a liability, it becomes a strength where you're actually in control when you start the game, okay? Um, so in this drill, what we're gonna do is work on some footwork, correct? We're gonna, we're correct. gonna, we had the modern tennis footwork, now we're taking that a step further. Exactly. With these two drills. Well, we're gonna actually allow you, all right, and encourage you to really play the game the way it feels right okay. to you. Start personalizing. Start personalizing. It's allowing yourself to really play the way it feels right to you. All right. Okay. Well, let's do it. All right. We're going to work on short ball versus deep balls. All right. And for this particular exercise, I just want you to work on what works for you. Okay. Because it's not about playing the way I like it. It's okay. about playing the way you like it. All right. Okay. So, so we're going to put... do the same thing on my end? You're going to do the same thing on your end. Okay. All because right. personalization, if you don't mind giving me two more balls and sure. doing the same thing that I do. Okay. All right. Ball coming. All right. So this one's at the, the deep ball depth, all right? Correct. All right. So basically, personalizing is about allowing yourself to feel the game the way it feels to you. All right. So I'm not going to give you any sort of feedback anymore. All right. I want you to alternate between those balls. All right. In whatever sequence feels right to you. Okay? All right. With whatever step feels right to you. All right. And whatever spin feels right to you. It's all about Will and Will's attempt to customizing the game within the confine of this drill. All right. Okay? And you'll do the same thing for me, And obviously. I'm going to do the same thing exactly. And because it's in a short space, there's still plenty of room for us to move, yet not move too much so that it becomes unproductive. All right. Okay? All right. So, you know, I can play short. All right? I can play to the left right there, okay? I can play to the right right here, okay? Then I can play short right here. And this is a drill that everybody should be very, very comfortable with because now you allow yourself, <laughs> okay? Actually, I was aiming for that. <laughs> Were you really? I was, I really <laughs> was, but that's a, okay, come on. All right, okay? And now it's about you sort of playing the way that the game looks to you, okay? That's it. All right. So now you're working on what I call distribution, okay? Yep. All there right. So you have the movement, okay? You have the relaxation. You have the footwork, okay? Different types of slices, okay? And spins, all right? And you notice that we can really make ourselves move quite a bit sure. just right here. And then you can work on all these. There's the pivot, okay? All right, that's it. There is the walking step. When I see a ball that's inside, that was a little inside step, okay? 
right there I sliced, okay? Right there I went to the side. That's a pivot on your part, okay? All right. Okay, right there, very good, okay? If I get really, really feisty, I can take it in the air as well. <laughs> but always work on the distribution and also always pay attention to where those balls are, okay? I don't want anybody out there to step on a ball. Sure. Okay. It's also about knowing where the obstacles are, Oops. always taking into consideration what's in your way. See, I'm moving in, uh -huh. all right. Now I'm right here. I'm alternating between side. That's a great shot, Will. Okay. Very good. Uh -oh. That's it. That was That's a little okay. shorter than I, I got it. Very good. Okay, now as people start to feel very comfortable, all right, with those targets, they don't have to be there. See uh -huh. what I mean? You can yeah, move. You can totally move them out of the way. Okay. Okay, all right. You can love me, you know, when you see that I'm a little too eager, okay? <laughs> That's it, all right? And then this is your time for you to personalize the game for you the way that it feels right to you, okay? Oh. And then things start to make sense too because you notice that every once in a while, I hit a ball that pulls you in. Uh -huh. Okay, that's your cue to move in. See what I mean? Yep. There you did a hopping step, that was perfect. You pull me in, walking step, Volley. there. Okay, I'm right here, excellent, excellent. That's it. I'm feeling a little worried about you being there. I'm backing up. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right. Okay. So now we've done this exercise. We don't necessarily need those balls to be in the way. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do the same exact thing with none of those balls. Okay. Okay. But we're visualizing the target now. Correct. And then I'm going to start to incorporate the constant tilting. Okay. Okay. Tilting is essentially when you start to move somebody around. Your ideal position in tennis is up straight, uh -huh. okay? If the ball is low, I'm gonna bend down, but stay up straight. Sure. Imagine you have a glass of water on your head, you don't wanna spill it, okay. okay? The problem is as we start to move from side to side, we start to tilt. Okay. So if you stretch me out too much, then I look like this. Okay, that's, the, so that's sort of the classic rec, rec player move you see as one of these. Correct. They're, Tilt and all to the be time. avoided all right. at all costs. Okay. okay. So the reason why I'm bringing this up inside the box mm -hmm. is because this is the perfect time to fix that. Okay. Okay. If you have to wear a belt, you know, one of those workout belts that people wear when they go to the gym or sure. okay. yeah. a corset, whatever. <laughs> okay. Something that forces you to stay up here. Okay. Okay. And as people do it more and more, what they realize is the breathing is what keeps your upper body up straight. Okay. Because when I inhale, what happens? Mm -hmm. My lungs fill up. All right. My torso is now firm. All right. Okay. So that forces me to be up straight. Okay. okay. Which is why the timing of the breathing is critical. Okay. All right. So we're going to play inside the box, really working the box and trying to not tilt. All right. Okay. So you're going to move me around. I'm going to move you around. We're not trying to win the point, but we really want to isolate those little instances where we start to tilt, which right. is what you don't want to do. All right. Okay? So maybe I'd take those wide targets and possibly move them out a little further you if got I it. wanted to move you a little bit. You got it. All right. And what you want to be looking for is what is the farthest shot that you have to hit for me to start to look okay. like this. Okay. okay. Once you figure that out, now you know how to beat me. All right. Okay? So because you've essentially you... figured out where the tilt is. All right. So I just have to get you to tilt and then you I'm going to get me to tilt. Point. All okay? Right. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. All right. All right, and really you wanna work on your breathing here. So I should see a very, very proud posture. Uh oh, so okay. I'm exhaling as I make contact. That's it, but stay up straight. This is when you start to tuck in your, uh, your abs. All right. Really work your six pack or eight pack in your case. Okay, all right, that's it. <laughs> 12 pack. 12. Uh, you're a bigger man than I am. There you go. That's it. As long as I don't right. have to prove it. There you go. Excellent. Okay. So, so far we're doing good. No uh -huh. tilting. 
okay? That's it. All right, very good. And you see that in our attempt to prevent the tilting, you actually have to move a little more. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all the steps now are engaged, every single one of them, okay? All right, you see the pivot, okay? You see the pivot, all right? You see the walking, okay? You see the hopping, all right? And then no tilting still, so you're doing really, really good there. All right, okay, good, okay, that's it, all right, that's it, okay, that's it, okay, I'm feeling the tilt already, <laughs> tilt coming, tilt coming, there you go, come on, good, okay, come on, man, you're on fire, there you go. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a great job. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. All right. Did you know that there are only five simple things you need to do to have a textbook forehand like Roger Federer? If you click the link in the description of this video and visit our website, you'll learn why Federer's forehand is so good and how you can copy his technique. And this entire 45-minute lesson is 100% free. Join the thousands who have already learned what these five simple things are and take control of your forehand today.